Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Today's vlog is all about pricing your art on eBay, Etsy, etc, etc. This is a guide, a guide only. This is the, the way I price my art, so it's just to give you a kind of idea and guide on pricing your art. Let's get on with it. I'll just get the paintings. <laughs> right guys, we'll start off with a simple one, is the size A4 uh, watercolour paintings. I've got two here, watercolour and oil, so I'm going to price them separate. Oil's always more expensive. If you go into an art shop or whatever, you can expect to pay anything from say twenty four ninety nine up to seventy five seventy five plus uh, pounds on a A four size watercolor. Uh, some of them will be framed, by the way. I'm just giving you a guide of the the pricing in an art shop or whatever, depending on the artist. Now my prices are. Uh, relating to amateur artists like myself. A4 size watercolour painting there is of a, a woodpecker. So there you are, that's a nice example for you. An A4 size woodpecker now. I normally start my prices off at $5.99 for these guys. Uh, I've studied a lot of uh, art shops in my a up and coming career so I think I know a little, a little bit about that uh, the pricing I've went through loads uh, art galleries art shops etc etc just to see the pricing uh, I researched well before I started uh, putting my art for sale up on eBay now here's another example a four size oil painting this is all this is on rag paper it's a type of it's a tougher paper than watercolour paper but as you can see it's in oils and it's of a Puma Cat uh, mountain lion so uh, this one I price at my oil paintings A4 size I always start them off at $12.99 sometimes I reduce them if they're not selling uh, but it's your preference whether you want to reduce them or not but an oil painting on A4 paper whether it's uh, oil paper, watercolour paper or this rag paper Ah, yes, yeah, so that means at twelve ninety nine. The value of these, this is if I put it on a, a fixed price listing, it will go on at twenty four ninety nine. So any twenty four ninety nine up to about thirty five ninety nine is the price that you can expect to pay for uh, this painting. So I mean, it just depends. Uh, the 99 pence, you can start at 99 pence and see how far you go on the, on the bidding side. Uh, but it'll probably, if you put it on the 99 pence, it'll probably go up to about 79 or something like that. That's about the, the price for an A4 patents on the uh, lower uh, side of eBay on the uh, uh, auction, auction side. So, but it could go higher. I've had uh, patents this size, A4. The, the most I've had for this size is thirty four ninety nine, and it was one of my pheasant paintings. Need I say more? Pheasant paintings. <laughs> uh, one of my most popular ones, but uh, that went for 30, uh, 34 99 or 35 99 something like that. Uh, but that was the highest price that I got for on auction, starting at 99 pence, and it went up to uh, 34 99 35 for... Uh, for that one, that was about two or three years ago, and I can remember it. It was at Christmas time when people were uh, desperate to get uh, beautiful paintings for Christmas presents. So, if you get two people, two or three people bidding on your painting, that's that's the value that you expect it to go up to. About that, sometimes it'll go way up to seven seventy pound. I've seen them on eBay uh, going up to seventy odd pound. Uh, just depends on, as I says, it depends on the artist and how, how well you uh, are well known. You know what I mean? So, but there you are. That's uh, A4 size oil painting that will be going on at twenty nine. And if it doesn't sell, this will go like the watercolours down to about seven and nine or something. Like that. I don't think I would uh, sell that for any less than seven and nine since it's oils. You know what I mean? The watercolours, I'd, it would go down to to about five and nine. Anyway, that's the, the A4 sizes. Now we'll get on to the bigger size, the A3 size. This size of watercolour paintings. 
this is of a barn owl still to be completed I've still got the highlights to put in this but as you can see the size is different from the A4 they're just a bit bigger so these guys I start these at $7.99 that's my normal price for the uh, uh, A3 size uh, watercolour paintings, pastel paintings uh, I'll go into the oil paintings in a minute but it's $7.99 that I set my price at for the watercolour A3 size paintings I'll show you one in oils now it's an oil on board A3 size of a lady and that lovely I don't know if I've still to complete that I've got the signature to put on it and whatever but this is a board guys there's a the size it look if you want the reference it's a solid board so these these are I mean, this starts at $24.99 and goes upwards but normally if I put this this on I'll put it on to start with about maybe £35 because it's oil on board and if you frame that it's well worth it uh, you could charge if that's framed I would charge £75 up to £150 for that but uh, as it is I normally sell them unframed so it's easier to transport and it's also easier for the person to get their own frame and whatever and all around it's uh, financially viable for everybody so I recommend that you put this on at $24.99 to start with uh, you can put it up, up I have had them up at $34.99 I have sold uh, at that but on auction I'd start that at $24.99 on fixed price, I would probably put it in at about $34.99 to start with. If it does not sell, then I'll reduce it, you know what I mean? So, uh, but Easy's got an a icon on there that you can uh, switch on, that you, they, they can do that for you, you know what I mean? They can reduce it uh, every week till it gets to the $24.99 that I want. But I don't think I would sell that any less than $24.99, because the value of that in an art shop as I said to you, it'll probably be about 75 to 150 pound. Uh, so, anyway, that's a guide for the A3 sizes. Now, that's the actual hand painted ones I've just told you about. What I'm going to do now is show you, which is something that I don't really, uh, I'm not really into a lot, if you know what I mean. I love to give the uh, the buyers and the art collectors, the art buyers, the original uh, artwork as I said to you before because I can always paint another one, you know what I mean? Any artist can just paint another unless you are really, really, really attached to it. Like, I have got a couple of paintings been there that I'm really attached and I'll never ever uh, leave this uh, this house, so... Uh, but the, the prints, as I was just saying to you, uh, I'll show you. I've started doing a couple of prints out of requests that I had on eBay, so uh, <laughs> I'll show you one. This is from a pastel painting that I did. I've got the original, yeah, and I'll never part with it. One of those paintings I'll never part with it, but it's a red fox and it's done in pastels, but this is actually a print and it's framed. If I'm selling a print, guys, it's normally framed in a beautiful frame, you know what I mean? So this I have got up on eBay, fully framed, and it's on a, a what kind of paper is it on? It's, it's on a special paper that I got from eBay. I think it's actually on pastel pastel print paper. And uh, anyway, I, I've I've sold, I've got that on sale for seven ninety nine, and I've got various, uh, I've got various uh, prints. Up now, at that price, fully framed, you don't need to buy anything else, and that one's got glass, this one's got glass, and another one is a Puma, going through the water, lovely that, eh? That's another uh, print off a pastel I did, I feel like this, I've got the original as well, never part with that one as well, but uh, this one's up on sale for something, and as I said, you've got selection. But that's the price that I would recommend that you sell prints at. I mean, if you think I sell prints at uh, £5.99, I sell originals at £5.99 and £7.99. So you can see, 
but these are up for 79 these are prints but they'll get reduced uh, week by week until the lowest I'll go for these would be for that one I'd probably give it away for 5 99 but no less because it's framed so I hope that's been a good guide for his uh, for those paintings I'm gonna show you a couple more since I've got time I've got time on the timer there uh, this is a, a well-known uh, painting that I sell quite regular is an A4 size canvas this is an old painting but it's, on, it's an, an oil on canvas and I sell these for I think I start them off at 9.99 and they'll get reduced to about 79 if they don't sell that I mean um, but the right price of these is uh, 24.99 to 35.99 again uh, so that's the value that's the investment uh, value of them so anyway that's uh, the A4 size oil on canvas what I normally do is I'll put a label in there as well and I sometimes I'll sign it or put the title on the back so this is an oil on canvas A4 size and in between 79 to 24.99 that I'll have these up for just depends uh, <laughs> It just depends uh, how things are, are doing that, that week, but it's normally nine ninety nine that these go for that I sell. Sometimes twelve nine. Sometimes I'll get bidded up to twelve ninety nine. But I hope that's a good uh, idea for you as well. Oil on canvas. Now, the next one is an A4 size. Oh, I'll just show you this. This is another one, oil and canvas, well life. I think I've got this one up for $24.99 because the big cats sell great. And you go on the eBay and you see if you can get a big uh, leopard like this uh, for anything less than $24.99 hand painted. Look at it. It's done in uh, a palais knife. But you can see how thick it is. It's in the uh, impasto style. But that's up for. I think it's twenty four nine nine. I start them off at thirty four nine nine. So there's there's the label I was telling you about. I've got a label on the back. That's an old label, and I've got the that painting's numbered for way back. This is an old painting I've done years and years back. So <laughs> I think I've got that up for twenty four nine nine. I've sold these at thirty four nine nine. So uh, the real value, if I was, if somebody says to me, what's the lowest price you would get for you would put that on if I could buy that from you it would be about £75 if I was buying that out of an art shop uh, so great bargain £24.99 uh, but as I says I can always paint another so I've sold a lot of these a lot of these have went to America cheetahs leopards tigers etc so this is one of the last ones that I've, I've got left I think I've got another cheetah one been there but this, uh, I'll need to start doing more of these because they're just a bit out. I've got a couple left, including this one. I'll show you one that's framed. This one here, it's of a white lion, and that's fully framed. Guys, this I've got up for £75. I wouldn't get any, I wouldn't go any lower. As I said to you, this is just a guide on pricing. You have to make that decision what you think your painting is worth. So this one will never get sold because even though, as you look, there's no whiskers on this. This is uh, one of my treasured paintings and I wouldn't even put whiskers on it because it would spoil the look of this one, I think. Look at that. It's a white lion and it's, uh, I've got it up for £75. It's, it's, this one's worth about 200 I think, in my mind anyway. That's what I'd pay for that. So, anyway, that's a framed uh, A4 size oil painting. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, pricing guide. Uh, it's just, uh, I thought that uh, this vlog would be quite interesting to you since I've been showing you all the whole paintings that I'm selling on eBay and I've been getting emails asking me if uh, I could price 
if I could give him a, a guide price, uh, how I set my prices. So, even though it seems, uh, I mean, on eBay, you can get paints for 99 pence, way up to thousands of pounds. It just depends uh, what type of paint, who the artist is, and uh, what the age is, etc. etc. So, guys, a wee bit of advice. If you think you're painting, the ones that I'm selling at 5 if you think your painting's worth 9 99 12 you set at that price. Because that's the price that you value that painting at. Uh, in time you might change your mind and reduce it, which I did uh, when I first started. So, uh, but always, always, the tip, do not sell any paintings that you cherish, because I've sold paintings that I cherish and I regret selling them. I wish to God I could buy them back. Uh, I'd even buy them back for uh, more than what, uh, for more than what uh, the, the person paid for them. That's how right much. guys, sorry about that, the memory card ran out, as you see there was blathering, blathering on. <laughs> what I was saying was that if I could buy my patent back, I would at double the price. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog on a guide to pricing your watercolours, oils, pastels, etc. on eBay, Etsy and all the other sites. And I'll say bye bye for now.